Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened one time. Another Israel 2000 story. Another addition to my uh, Israel 2000 shenanigans. Okay, so we're in the middle of this trip. And like any, like a lot of teenagers do, we like to drink. Even though they explicitly told us not to drink. Including the time our uh, group leader, this Israeli bitch named Tali, who I fucking hated. I think we all hated her. Like, Israelis can be extremely rude and snobby, like I've said. And she was at the top of the list for that. And one time she's like, anybody who is caught drinking alcohol will be sent back to the States immediately. We're like, oh shit, we better not let her catch us. But, of course we do it anyways. And hope we didn't get caught. And this one night, we're all like smoking hookah and drinking and shit. And I didn't want to drink. So I got this idea to uh, put alcohol in a hookah and try to like inhale it. You know, like a vaporizer. Yeah, and I'm hanging out with these two or three like really cute Israeli girls, right? They were kind of hot. Of course, just like now, I didn't have a chance in hell with Israeli girls. They're just elitist and snobby and not a snowball's chance. But, you know, I tried. And uh, I'm sitting there with these girls. And, of course, it didn't get me drunk. All it did was end up getting me fucking sick. And ended up just puking right in front of them. And if I had even a 1% chance to hook up with any of them... Well, puking in front of a girl is usually the end of the night. That that pretty much kills it. <laughs> Even if you look like Brad Pitt or something. <laughs> you almost throw up on her, forget it. Done. But, uh, yeah, besides that, even though they were totally turned off by the fact that I, like, puked in front of them, they still, for some weird reason I'll never understand... Wanted to see my dick, right? It it, it just came completely out of nowhere. It was just me and the three girls alone. Yeah. And and one of them was like, I want to see it. I'm like, see what? You know, I want to. And like pointing pointing to it. Come on, let us see it. I'm like, okay. And I was kind of horny because these girls were like sexy. And... I fucking dropped my pants, and I already got a big-ass heart on, right? And, you know, they're standing like five or ten feet away, just like looking at it. And then one of them all of a sudden, I don't know if she was being sarcastic, probably, but she goes, Oh, it is so big! Wow! And the other two girls are looking like they're amazed at my size. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I don't know if this is a talent, like, wiggling your ears, but I fucking wiggle my dick up and down, and none of them were expecting it, so they literally, like, jumped. Like, oh my god, what did you do with that? I did not expect this. Uh, yeah, it was just crazy-ass night. And to make it even crazier, um, I, maybe that made me a little drunk inhaling the uh, alcohol vapor from the hookah, or what, or maybe I was just a little crazy in general. But after I puked, of course I wanted to brush my teeth. But I couldn't exactly get my toothpaste because I was sharing a room with this guy named Dave Matz. Now unlike me, Dave Matz was extremely physically attractive. This guy could get any girl, even back in high school, basically by snapping his fingers. Snap your fingers and get laid. We've all known that guy. He was one of them. Must be fucking nice. And he's in our room, uh, hooking up with some chick. And I knock on the door, and he's like, yeah, what's up? I'm like, uh, uh, can I get my toothpaste? You want your toothpaste? Yeah, I, like, threw up. I puked before. I need to brush my teeth. He's like, dude, can you see I'm in here, like, getting some? Hello? No, I'm not giving you toothpaste. Go away. And undeterred, I knock on the door. What, David? 
Please, can I get my toothpaste? I really need it. No, I'm not giving you your toothpaste. God damn it. I'm trying to get laid here. Leave me alone. And I was just not giving up. I really, really wanted to brush my teeth. I, I could not wait for him to leave the room. So I knock on the door a third time. What do you want? At this point, this guy's ready to fucking kill me, right? Like, his anger at me at this point is, is probably about to supersede his need for pussy. <laughs> He's pissed. Like, please, can I have my toothpaste? And finally, he just storms into the bathroom, grabs my toothpaste, like, practically throws it at me. He goes, here, here's your fucking toothpaste. Leave me alone and shut the fuck up. And he, like, slams the door as hard as he can. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, um, that was some crazy shit, so that was my little story about my night in Israel in 2000, hanging out with the Israeli girls that had no intention of touching me with a 10-foot pole, but still wanted to see my dick, which they allegedly thought was huge, me wiggling it at them and making them jump, and me harassing Dave Matz for my toothpaste until he was ready to fucking strangle me. But at least I got the toothpaste. What a night. What a fucking night.